Hey guys, it's Corey and Victoria from Trains in the Valley. And guess what? It's MTH time. That's right. We've been hyping this up for too long. We got locomotives right here, but we'll talk about that later. Oh yeah, I know. I'm still still teasing you guys. We got some boxcars here. Now again, today we're going to be rapid fire. We worked really hard on our website this week, so crunch time. Okay, we have a CNW high cube, and those are 40 foot. So I love 40 foot high cubes. Western Pacific, Missouri Pacific, Southern Pacific. We got all the Pacifics. View Grand. We have Western Maryland 40 foot double door box car. Pennsylvania, same thing. B&O, ooh, operating box car with signal man. That's pretty cool. Those operating cars are always fun. Okay, we have an MP box car, New Haven, Northern Pacific. Now this is interesting. We have some Pacific Fruit Express cars here. This is the B version. We have C and here's F. So probably as we continue on, Hopefully we find the rest of them. That's been the case so far. Okay, we have an NYC box car. Pennsylvania 50 foot double door plug box car. C and W, this is an O-scale refrigerator car. And we have a Western Maryland number 14 reefer. Pacific Fruit Express, oh there's D. We just found another one. So we almost got the whole set. And finally, we have a Sioux line, 40 foot single sheath box car. So there's 20 box cars. Again, rapid fire, going through them real quick. But if you guys have been following along with the MTH video so far, it's really hard to find anything upsetting with these cars. The guy took great care of them. So yeah, um, and again, we'll, we'll be having all the pictures, all the details on the website so you guys can see all this stuff and multiple views and certainly reach out if you have any questions we're happy to help i just want to take a second to highlight this union pacific heritage high cube it's a 40 foot this car is super clean and i really can't find that many out there so this is definitely a good find uh beautiful um, all the way around all of these look really cool so yeah definitely check these out so we have this b and o car um, it's an operating box car. The only thing is we don't have the operating track section for MTH. At least not at this point. We have to get that so we can be able to test MTH products like this in the future. But anyways, the car itself looks really clean and everything. I mean, well, it needs some cleaning up here or there, but ultimately it's in really good condition. So with everything else electronic so far, it did work. So of course we'll have to sell it untested, but I feel pretty good about it. Okay, so now for the long way to locomotives. Okay, we'll be checking them out one by one here. So first up, we have an ST40-2 diesel engine. This is a Western Maryland number 7449. It has ProtoSound 2. Next up, we have a Redding F3B unit, and this one's non-powered. Well, it looks like we're a man down. We just opened up this Redding out of the box, and immediately we noticed that this end sustained some serious damage. Um, and like the screws were stripped right out of it. It's a shame. This is a, 
a non-working unit, well, obviously now especially, but um, it's a non-powered unit, even though it does have some electric. So it's definitely parts at this point, tons of parts. Um, yeah, Nature of the Beast, and of course, um, uh, the people we got the collection from, they had best intentions, and this could have been sealed up, maybe a grandkid dropped it at some point, who knows, and it was in the box, and just a quick glance, everything appeared to be okay, and from us moving it around to our warehouse, well, it just shattered, so... Yeah, that's unfortunate, but it looks like we got one less loco this week, but we'll make sure we make up for it next time. Next, we have an Amtrak Genesis diesel engine, and this one actually has Protosound 3. We have a Norfolk Southern SD60E diesel engine. It's number 6963. And this one also has Protosound 3. And finally, we have a legendary K4 locomotive. This is a 462 K4S Pacific steam engine. And of course, it's a Pennsylvania, number 1361. This is the 1947 version, and it comes with Protosound 2. Okay guys, here's the K4S Pennsylvania unit. We're gonna come back to it actually. We had best intentions to have it for sale but we want to take a look at a few things. Um, possibly we have a dead battery, but we're not totally sure yet. So we do want to give it the due diligence here because it is such a nice locomotive. Stay tuned on this one. Nonetheless, we got some nice stuff. So we're pretty happy. Yeah, this is certainly some exciting stuff and we're glad to deliver. Remember, we got more to come. We're just still digging into the locomotives and we got plenty more boss cars as well. And as we said before, the new way to buy these items from this video, if you are watching this from public YouTube, then it's already on our website. Click the link in our bio and you'll be directed to where this collection is on our website. If you are a newsletter subscriber, you would have got this video early and the newsletter, it tells you when these products are going live on our website so you get the first chance. And that is how you buy everything. Thanks so much guys, we'll see you next time.